Hi everybody, this is Aino. In this video, I share Michelin start ramen restaurant in Tokyo. Let's go! First Michelin star ramen shop is Konjiki Hototogis. This ramen got Michelin first star in 2019. I visited on weekday, but many people were waiting for ramen. This is the business hour. They may close early, so it's better to visit around or before the noon. This is a ticket vending machine. Only Japanese is on the machine, but no worries. They have translation on the wall. We can select ramen and toppings with the descriptions. And also, there are descriptions for ramen. We can see what kind of ingredients are used for ramen in detail. There are six counter seats and a table for two in the restaurant. Counter seat is very simple, but this space is really cozy. Water is saves up. Fill water to a glass with a jug on the table. This is shiosoba, salt ramen with extra pork chashu and seasoned egg topping. It costs 1600 yen and it's about 11.75 US dollars. It smells great and it's so gorgeous. I'm really excited to have this. Let's see ramen more detail. Sliced white leg is at the center and pancetta pork are on top of it. Chopped green leaf is on top side. A bamboo shoot is along the ramen bowl and this is thinner and softer bamboo shoot compared to general bamboo shoot. And my favorite topping, seasoned neck is bottom side of ramen bowl. It's brown, so it's well seasoned and it's quite hot I guess. Porcini mushroom sauce is on chashu. This is homemade sauce. I have no idea what tastes like. On the other side, Inca Valley sauce is on noodles. It looks like plum sauce. I guess this is a little bit sour. Next one is chashu. This is pork, but it's slightly red and rare. I guess this is low temperature cooking. Let's see soup. It's slightly brown. I should say this is golden brown. It's runny and oil is floating. It's regular of plum and truffle. Last one is noodles. It's medium thin noodle. This is also homemade noodles. It's blended six different flavors. This is seasoned egg. Egg yolk is quite hard, but it's well seasoned and it tastes so rich. I couldn't film while I was having ramen, so I'll give some comments with ramen background. Soup tastes so elegant. It has gentle taste, but it's so mellow of hamagali clam and red sea blue. And various kinds of ingredients are served in the end, and it tastes very complex. However, it's pretty salty and noodles are too soft for me. I prefer less salty and more chewy noodles. As a result, this ramen is good. I could say this would be a something different food rather than ramen. We'll be able to see new taste ramen. Let's move on to next ramen restaurant. Please subscribe to my channel. Second Michelin star ramen restaurant is Nakiryu. This restaurant got Michelin star in 2017. This restaurant has been closed due to the construction, but they started business again. This is a ticket vending machine. We can switch language to English. But this time, I'm sorry. I forgot to change. It's my bad. I bought tantan noodle with extra chashu, seasoned egg, and refilled noodles. Water is served for the first. Refilling is safe served. Use a jug on the table. These are the only things on the table. One is black pepper, and another one is sancho pepper, I guess. I was looking for chopsticks and I found them in a drawer. This is interesting. And a babe is also in a drawer, taking chopsticks and a babe to get ready. This is tantan noodles with pork chashu and seasoned egg topping. It costs 1500 yen and it's about 11.4 US dollars. Chopped green leek is at the center and seasoned egg is behind it. This egg seems nice. It looks well seasoned, but unfortunately, I guess this is too hard for me. And sliced pork chashu is served separately. I added chashu on the ramen. It looks nice, doesn't it? Soup is rich brown or rich red color because it's mingled spicy chili oil and sesame paste. Let me check soup first. It's pretty runny, more than I guess. It's normally thicker than this. I think sesame paste is somewhere in soup, so I need to mix it. Noodles make me surprised. It's thin noodles. 
It's usual sticker. This is inside of the season egg. As I expected, it's too hard for me, but it's tasty. It's well seasoned. I had all noodles, so I ordered refill noodles called kaedama. It's already cooked, so I just let them dive into soup and loosen. Let it swim in soup. I got a great news. They started chashu rice, so I added extra order. This is pork chashu rice. Wasabi mayonnaise sauce is on it. It looks so tender. I'm really excited to have wasabi and mayonnaise sauce. Once I mingled soup, soup is pretty thick and it tastes mellow sesame. Spicy chili oil is in soup, but it's not too spicy. I guess people who are not really good at spicy food can't even have this. As a last, honestly, this is the best tantan noodle I've ever had. Spicy malik sesame soup and chewy noodles are wonderful. Pork chashu and seasoned egg are not special, so it's up to you to order them if you like. However, Chashu rice is really good, so I recommend to order it. Let's add extra chashu for ramen. Give me a comment what you want to see. Last Michelin star ramen shop is Hachigo. This shop got Michelin five star in 2022. Menu is simple. They serve only soy sauce ramen. I got premium soy sauce ramen and chashu rice. There are only six counter seats inside. These things are already set up and nothing else on the seat. So my dishes have arrived. This is premium soy sauce ramen. It costs 1400 yen. It's about 10.98 US dollars. It's so fragrant and it looks perfect balance of toppings. Soup is a little vague, but it's clear enough to see ramen noodles. And this is pork chashu rice. It costs 500 yen. It's about 3 US dollars. Let's see more about ramen. First one is soup. Even it's soy sauce ramen, soup is so clear. It's vivid, golden color. Some oil is floating. Sand is really nice of bonito. And I'll show you other ingredients. This is bamboo shoot. It's ordinary bamboo shoot. And next set, these are chopped blending. It looks crunchy. And seasoned egg. This is quite white. So I guess it's more like boiled egg. Last topping is chashu. This is pork belly chashu. It's big and thick chashu. Let's see noodles next. These are noodles. It's quite thin. It's uncommon thickness for soy sauce ramen. Noodles are more like Hakata style. Chopped leek is on top of the chashu rice. And also diced chashu in all around. Great ginger is on the edge of the bowl. It's the only one seasoning for the rice dish. Yet. This is my favorite time checking the seasoned egg. This is perfect. This is the one I love. Shop manager gave me wonderful advice. It's nice to have with pulling ramen soup onto chashu rice. So I did. Tasty chashu, refreshing bread ginger, crunchy chopped leek, and mellow ramen soup make an unbelievable dish. This is amazing. We must do it. The shop name is beautifully printed on the ramen bowl. This is so cool. Soup is really tasty. It certainly tastes soy sauce and mellow broth. It's so rich, but it's not too salty at all. Each ingredient makes perfect harmony. Noodles are chewy, good texture. And chashu, it's big and thick. It's so good. Chashu rice is a bit tasteless because they don't use any sauce, they a strong taste seasonings for it. Because they want us to have its neutral taste. But as I did, pulling ramen soup onto rice, it's awesome. I guess Japanese may like this. As a conclusion, this is the best Michelin star ramen I've ever had. I like ramen that has gentle taste and rich broth soup. I'm sure this is the one we must visit and have ramen in Tokyo. Like now, we have only 3 Michelin star ramen restaurants. I hope we can have other Michelin star ramen restaurants. How was it? I shared three Michelin star ramen and every one of ramen was wonderful. These ramen are really popular. So when you come to these restaurants, take plenty of time for the ramen. I have a Twitter and Instagram accounts. Please follow me. If you have a request, give me comments, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. This is all for today. See you in the next video.
bye